Another night, another win, but this is over a nationally ranked team. Uh, what's this do for you guys at this point in the season? I mean, I think it is great confidence that, uh, you know, that we can uh, go on the road, win in the midweek, something we haven't had a ton of success with so far. And, um, you know, we just, you know, we did some good things and, uh, you know, I'm really proud of the kids. They made plays when they had to. Is that what you were hoping to get out of the whole pack and then the bullpen, obviously? Oh, absolutely. Was... You know, if we can get five and six innings out of our starters, you can manage that bullpen. And, uh, you know, Kitchen did a good job, came in. It wasn't the best stuff I've seen him have, but, you know, he got through it and uh, did a good job. And, and the Morse is just, you know, he, he's been one of the best closers in the country all year long. I'm sure you were frustrated by the runners left on base and later innings, but, <laughs> but you build the early lead. Yeah. What did that, that 4 0 lead do to just take the pressure off, maybe? Yeah, I think so. And, and you know, I don't know. We, for whatever reason, uh, we, we were very focused and intent early. And then as the game went on, and, uh, you know, they, they got a guy throwing change ups and things, and, and you know, we just kind of lost the. Um, the focus and, and we start chasing out of the zone and doing some things that, you know, we, we, we left a ton of guys on base, I know. You know, we had one hit here or there, and, you know, this has been a really lopsided week. Uh, their starter, though, had a 0 0.99 ERA coming in. Yeah. Uh, why were you guys so effective against him, do you think? I, you know, I, I, <laughs> you know, the kids got pitches to hit, and they hit them. You know, I mean, you know, obviously it wasn't his best day, but, uh, you know, I think a lot of that had to do with us, too. You know, I mean, you know, you look at us, we're – uh, you know, our numbers against left-handed guys is pretty good, you know, even with all the left-handed hitters. So, uh, you know, it doesn't phase me that, you know, especially a guy that's more of a dominant fastball guy versus someone who's got an outstanding breaking ball or something. And, um, you know, I, I thought the kids did a great job. Does Schaefer go tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. We're going to talk about it going home. We're going to do, you know, we'll see. We're going to do whatever we got to do to try to win tomorrow. What was uh, what's going through your head? Well, I think they closed out a, a big win over a nationally ranked North Carolina team. Just, I mean, just another game for us. It was a I mean, a big RPI win. Obviously, we hear about that. We really been winning a bunch of games. We haven't made quality ones, so it's good to come in here. It's a pretty hostile environment. Get a win. Kitch did after the last outing. We know he struggled a little bit. Walked out one guy. And today he came in, picked Hopek up, and gave us a couple zeros. Man, and that's great to see for us. Get him back to where we need him to be. So. What was it like watching the start of that game as, as the offense built a 4-0 lead in the first inning? Oh, those guys never surprised me, man. I, I think we probably should score 15 on them, though, <laughs> the way they swing it. But they were hitting barrels all day. I know Billy had a big line drive to left that could have broke this thing open. Marcy had the one bunt where we, he was pretty safe to me. But we'll see. just one through nine, they're putting barrels together. Seth Lancaster hit about three balls about 500 feet that way. So it's, it's that close to us opening up on them. So. Do you think a game like this maybe draws some more national attention to what you guys are doing? Oh, I mean, we can't control that kind of stuff. We got we got Charleston tomorrow, and I think I'm not sure what Gilly just told you, but I'm not sure who's pitching. I know we'll have Beckwith ready to go, and I'm sure I'll be ready to go again. So we'll see if we can go get one tomorrow and keep taking steps forward. So. All right, uh, give me a sense for how big this win is over number 16 in North Carolina. Oh, you know, huge win like we talked about the other day. You know, it's a resume builder for us at the end of the year. Uh, huge road win for us. Hopek threw great. Uh, bullpen stepped up big. You know, we got timely hits, so still got to get a little better, though. You guys have won eight straight, 15 out of 16, but does a game like this make that whole streak look even better when you be a nationally ranked team? Oh, anytime you get to compete against a team like this on the road, especially, you get a huge win. It's great for our confidence. It's great for everyone, you know, towards the end of the year, but, you know, we got a big game tomorrow. What did that triple uh, the first inning do for you guys, just kind of setting the tone and getting that early lead? I think it kind of just let a lot of people relax. You know, we had a big, big opportunities early on, and we uh, just cashed in. So I think it helped everybody settle in and uh, really got us going. The longest hitting streak uh, in program history on record is 20 games. You're at 17 now. <laughs> would that mark mean anything to you as you get closer to it? Oh, it wouldn't mean anything for me, honestly. You know, I'm a streaky guy, so <laughs> hopefully it can last a little longer. But if not, it's not that big of a deal. Hopefully we just keep winning. Um, going back to that triple, just thinking through that bad, there was two outs and there was a big opportunity to cash in there. Take me through what you were thinking of the play. Oh, I mean, you know, we uh, had some film on that guy. You know, he really loves to pound his fastball, but, you know, he's a great arm, you know, hides the ball really well and jumps on you. And, you know, I was just trying to get something in the middle of the plate that I could hit and he, you know, missed up for me. So, good swing, so. You guys have won a lot of games lately, but this is over a nationally ranked team. How big is this one? It's pretty big. Uh, coming into it, we just we really want to relax and just play hard like we've been playing. Like, 
let everything work out like it's been working, and then today we, we put the barrels on the ball and it just worked out for us. What was it like in the dugout as you take a 4-0 lead in the first inning and you kind of take some of that pressure off maybe? Uh, I mean, that's, get, get your pitchers full runs in the first two innings. That's pretty big. Let them pitch and we can do some different things in the dugout and let Gilly work a little bit. And it, it just it relaxed you a little bit. I mean, you can never relax too much against a team like that. I mean, they're a really good team, but it gives you a little bit of breathing, breathing room. Uh, I asked Connor this. I mean, you've won 14 out of 15, eight straight, but does a win like this make that whole streak look even better because it's, it's an over nationally ranked team now and you've kind uh, of backed it up? Yeah, of course. I mean, beating them is a, a huge win. I respect the crap out of that team right there. They're, they're very good and they got a good, I mean, North Carolina, you come in here and get a win, that's huge. Yeah, that makes it a whole lot better. Uh, the week's not over yet, just getting started. Uh, how important is it that, to do this again tomorrow and, and follow up this weekend? Yeah, we got to go home, get some rest, and get ready for Charleston. They always give us a fit every time they play them, so we got to come ready to play tomorrow and hopefully we can get another W.